How are these people able to keep jobs? Elon Musk needs to buy Activision and fire all those devs that are just sitting there trying to spank their female employees and not, and do helicopters with their release and not work on the game. Alright, what's up, Kaji? So today I'm gonna be making a bold prediction and I'm gonna say it is not Bobby Cotty's fault. It is the devs fault. It is the lazy dev fault. We're gonna be getting right into the story And let me tell you today a lot of people are mad ladies and gentlemen A lot of people are angry a lot of people are going in ganging style and there's a video on a play for you But let me actually show you guys this because apparently Charlie <laughs> Intel They came out and they said that you cannot make this up on January 19th my God, Season 2 was delayed from February 2nd to February 14th to fix the issues and content Oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> and today, however, they have done the same. They have delayed season two from February 1st to February 15th. Initially, it was a rumor. Now, today Activision confirmed it. You probably have seen a lot of YouTubers, a lot of uh, Activision shills, a lot of Disney channels cover this one. And Charlie Intel is a Disney account for Call of Duty, understandably. Even Equalize Espresso, I would say he's a Disney channel as well, but man, actually have a really good channel. He's talking, he doesn't talk about his feelings. He just talk about the, 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 the game and he sticks to the game. And it's actually like pretty good, right? He's one of those channels that is unbothered. Uh, he's moisturized all the time and uh, that's essentially Bruh. where you want to be if you want to be covering content on youtube you do not want to be calling out anyone okay and he's on the good activision side this is why he's constantly invited out but even him he was saying everything the community suggests just gets ignored i'm still very frustrated here i mean like welcome to the league bro welcome welcome on in you know, we, we love to have you around the, the toxic gamer lounges here because the second you question, the second you question, you're labeled as toxic and problematic. And listen, if you go back a couple of weeks ago, if you go back a couple of months ago, I said this and I'll say it again, I will stick to my words because it's facts for me personally. Modern Warfare 2 is a good game. Bruh. It's a decent game. It has a good core. It's lacking content. The devs uh, have their, their, their thumbs right up in their bum hole. They're not doing anything. They're doing helicopters with their woolies. They're stealing baddies milk. Hey, yo, what the f That apparently happened. I'm not even making that up. Just Google it. They were stealing uh, baddies milk. This is why Activision has been under a like, massive lawsuit. And there's a video I want to play for you as well. But man, this company is a disease. These devs are lazy as hell incompetent i was defending the game meanwhile i was also like looking at everybody's review and it was kind of like content it was high dope mean when everybody was kind of made as heel and talking about it it was good content i really enjoyed it and obviously a lot of people had good points when they were talking about their critiques and i i thought it was a healthy discussion because when you have critiques that's the only way you could improve i would still like to believe however that there are good devs at Activision. There are good and passionate devs. But bro, they got 3,000 devs. Three years. Three uninterrupted years. Do you understand? Three uninterrupted years. And all they did was Jack. Jack. Eight multiplayer maps. Are you kidding me? And those most of those multiplayer maps are from Warzone 2. They made just Warzone 2. Bruh. And they took those areas, made the entire campaign off of it. And in every season, we're getting two remaster maps. And season two is supposed to have two remaster maps. Yeah, Bruh. that part is not confirmed, however. But they came out today. Uh, our studios team have been making several changes based on what we have heard from our player community. That's bull squash. I don't believe that. Every single year, I, I have been believing this situation, but no longer. I don't believe that till I get to see it. Guys, I'm not trying to be toxic. If you think I'm being toxic, well, well be it, man. Three uninterrupted years. Do they need like another thousand devs? A and the reason I don't think this is like Bobby Kotick's fault, it probably is. Like, let's be, let's Bruh. be real. Uh, but the thing is that Call of Duty Mobile, when you look at Call of Duty Mobile, that game is on its billionth season. That game is on its billionth season. That game is getting content. It's still under Bobby Kotick's regime though. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But man, this situation is so wild. I wanna play this video, bros. So the Modern Warfare 2 player count has reportedly dropped by almost 75%. Three quarters of the population have already chosen to walk away from the game. Damn. Even though it just came out less than three Damn, months ago. Son, where'd you... But is Facts. anybody surprised? No, I mean, we all nope. seen this coming a mile away, didn't we? 
I wonder if the developers are surprised. Let's be real. Stupid. Let's be real. The devs are likely surprised. The devs are so incompetent. So incompetent. I wouldn't have been saying that uh, a week ago. I wouldn't have been saying that two weeks ago. In fact, like, I was defending this game. In fact, I was saying, guys, like, it's a good game. I'm still gonna say, facts are facts. For me, personally, it's a really good game. It's a really decent Bruh. game. But these devs are so lame, so lazy, so incompetent. I've never seen a game. I've never seen a franchise. Guys, listen, I hate to make this comparison, but you know it's facts, okay? Mostly every game, and it's perfectly fine. As long as you still are putting your own uh, twist to it, but mostly every game is copying Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite. I don't love Fortnite. I don't hate Fortnite. I'm just one of those guys that's like, okay, it's not my cup of tea. But Fortnite, look at that game, for example. Free to play. Yeah, I got $20 skins. I don't buy it. A lot of people don't buy it. A lot of people also buy it. It's whatever. It's your money. You do you, right? It's one of those things. Completely free to play. But the content that game is getting is quality. It's quality as hell. It's some of the best content. They're making collaborations with some of the, the biggest personalities, uh, like biggest movie studios out there. They're doing something. At least they're doing something. I would go as far as to say indie devs. Hey, listen, if you're an indie dev, no disrespect. Like, I, I feel like that most of the indie devs are really passionate. At least they're working towards something that they're working. I would not have been criticizing Activision and Infinity War devs this hard if Activision was not a multi-billion multi-billion if it was not a multi-billion dollar company these devs are so lazy so incompetent i would still like to believe some of them are passionate but when you cannot even come out with two remaster maps every two months i don't know what to believe Bruh. in comparison it should be blame activision i don't know man maybe uh, i would say yeah 50 percent activision and 50 percent infinity war but but right now the the reason i'm divided is because there is call of duty mobile that's getting all the content in the world i mean what's up with that why is that game getting content and why is modern warfare 2 not getting content just i, I cannot even compute are they really that clueless did they expect a call of duty game to be able to survive and flourish when you remove a dead silence perk and jack up the sound <laughs> of the feet so loud it sound like elephant man see what i'm saying ladies and gentlemen our community okay call of duty players expectations are so low so low. for the longest amount of time i was a defeated gamer but no longer man i refuse to be a defeated gamer bro call me toxic i don't care now i'm done being nice i'm done being nice bro i'm i'm really done being nice this community and my expectations have been so low with this game all what we're asking is bro like what come on man give us four maps four maps every two every two months every season is that really too hard they want to drop like what two remaster maps one weapon and then they will come out with a, a playlist change every single week so some days it's gonna be like you know this week guys we got a shipment playlist and then the next uh, next week will be like guys sorry guys uh, 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 we're gonna do shoot house and then the next week they will do shipment they will flip flop between that's not content that's not content! They've done that during Modern Warfare 2019! Are you out of your goddamn mind, Activision? Are you out of your goddamn mind? This game, the devs are lazy as bro. Do they really need another extra, extra... Give them extra thousand devs, bro. Bruh. One more year. Give them Activision at this point. Do it, man. Those devs are incompetent. All they're working on is $20 bundles, pride flags, color flags. If you want to do that, fine. Do it, okay? But can a brother perhaps also get a new map one new map one new map one new map one new map man one new map. stomping through the map joseph <laughs> did you think that you could turn an arcade shooter called call of duty into a camping simulator and people still want to play the game hell 75 percent of the people who play the game like to rush around it ain't a surprise that 75 percent of the players done walked away Infinity Ward has completely changed what Call of Duty is. You can't do that. You can't switch the recipe up that everybody fell in love with and people like the new recipe. If they were smart, then what they would do when they were trying to try new recipes out is listen to the people who are actually dealing with it and see how they feel about it. It's wrong, wrong, is what Activision would say. It's not like Anything we haven't Ward screamed does. it from the mountaintops. What's wrong with the game? You know, Joseph been driving the Titanic straight into an iceberg, and we've been screaming at him, Hey, Joe! 
You about to hit an iceberg, bro? Turn off to the left. Turn to the right. What is he doing? Fingers in his ears singing la la la. They didn't even disable the f uh, tw uh Twitter replies uh, for Infinity Bruh. War. When they put out a tweet, you can't even reply to them. Toxic gamers. That's what th their excuse is. Like, gamers are so toxic. Oh my god, guys. We cannot. We cannot take the heat. We're, we're, we want to be strong. We want to be independent. And if we, if we let everybody come in and if you open the replies, we're not going to be strong. We're not going to be independent. We're, we're trying to just live our best life. Get mama, okay? Get mama, man. But yet they said that, you know, they, they're here for the community. That they want feedback. That they... No, they don't want nothing. They want to sit quietly in their cubicles and do whatever it is they want to do, thinking that Fast. they know better when obviously... Elon Musk needs to buy Activision and fire all those devs that are just sitting there trying to spank their female employees and not, and do helicopters with their release and not work on the game. Elon Musk should fire all those devs, They don't devs, even bro. play the game. They don't even have play testers to play the game. They just throw stuff against the wall and see if it's sticking. If it don't, then oh well. Oh well, I'm still getting my check. How are these people able to keep jobs? Because it gets deeper. Let me continue. Because not only have bad design decisions ruined the game, you know, stuff like removal of dead silence, loud ass horse feet, broken <laughs> mini map, uh, oh nerfs to movement, you even nerfed the dead silence field order, you got Bruh. no map vote. Your other community's expectations are so low. Basically, all what people are asking is Call of Duty to be Call of Duty. No skill based matchmaking and perk system. And just new content. Three things. That's all what this community's asking. But, ladies and gentlemen, the next Black Ops game ended up getting teased. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because I have uploaded a brand new UFO video on my second channel and we got some crazy footage. Click on that and I will see you right there.